Hello Stepper! Welcome to French's video. I'm France Martin, independent demonstrator with Stamping Up, and today I got a few tips for this card. I'm going to share how I color my lovely trout and also how I done the hook. I did that a little bit different though. We're going to start with the hook. We're going to use the Stamparatus, and this is Best Catch. Um, I'm going to take the hook, place it on my watercolor paper, and I, this is a scrap paper. I push it all the way at the corner. I'm going to put that right here, and it doesn't matter if it's straight or not because we get the framelit to cut that and so on. I'm going to put that there. Now, what i done, I use my marker. If I was stamping wet... Um, Let's put this under. If I was stamping with the stays on, I felt I had too much black on my oak. So I'm using a smoky slate for where really the oak is, the metal part, I should say. Uh, the bottom feathers, I am using Crush Curry. The top feathers, I am using... Um, Bermuda Bay. This one is Coastal Cabana. The other one I think I use uh, Bermuda Bay. I'm going to put that there. And then the center I use Pierre Pizzazz for like the twine around whatever it's called. Okay, now because it's marker, I'm going to have to off on it. Maybe you're going to see my head here. Just because it dry, right? As you go. Okay, now that I got this stamp, see it is very light. What I done, I use my aqua painter and I'm gonna make sure I get water on my brush, not too much, and then I'm gonna bring that to life here. See, just a little bit. This one really I don't have to do much oh, too much water. Okay, now you're going to see you're losing all your detail. You bet I'm using my detail. Don't worry about that. We're going to bring uh, the stamp back, and that's why I wanted the stamp apparatus. Okay, now it is color. I can use more yellow here. Let me, if that's the case, I don't have enough there. I'm just going to come and add a little bit more. Here we go. So now we're going to go get back our detail. And so what we would have to do is to wait to dry a little bit. So while it's drying, we're going to put that aside and start on our fish. So <clears throat> again, I use a watercolor paper and this is on a scrap. I stamp with stays on. You're going to, I'm using Calypso Pierre Pizzazz Pool Party Deftel Delight. So, uh, oh, and I need a soft suede also. So I mix all kind of color. I even use some of the smoky slate on some. We're going to start here with the soft suede. I'm sorry, I was blank here for a bit. So I'm just doing a light wash pretty much all around my trout. I think it is a trout. It sure look like a trout. And the trick to watercolor, really, it's patient. Because uh, we have to let dry in between uh, layers or in between. And I am not an expert at watercolor, trust me. I really enjoy it. Uh, maybe some of this stuff, some of more the expert, he's going to say, oh, no, don't do it this way, that way. I say when it comes to um, paper crafting, it's a heart. You do whatever you feel like. Now, I'm going to use the Calypso. And that I'm just going to use little drops for the little speckle there. Uh, I don't know how much you're familiar with uh, like fish, but this usually it got that nice uh, shiny almost like glitter on top. So you see my water it's spreading so I should have wait longer in between. We're going to leave it like that for now and we're going to come back. 
I'm going to take some yellow, that is the daffodil, going to go get right in the eye there. And I'm going to put a little bit there, but that's going to get cover. So now I just come and mix some of the colors. And for best result, if you wait in between, because sometimes you get too much uh, saturated water, and that's what happened. It's get all run away. You can wipe so you don't have as much water. I'm going to use my pool party now and I'm going to add some of the blue there. See now it's coming to life. Here we go. I'm going to go here again. Now I'm going to use my pure pizzazz. And we're going to add quite a bit of the pure pizzazz here. And now just because I want to speed up the process, usually I would not do that. I, I wouldn't use my heat tool to dry my watercolor. I like to uh, let it take action by itself, but just because of the camera, we're going to speed this up. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead, use the Calypso. We're going to do that in the mouth. And then again, those drop there. And where it went around, don't worry about that. That's perfectly fine. I'm going to leave that there. Now we need quite a bit more of the soft suede. Here we go. And I use a bit of a rust, um, rusted Cajun craze. So I'm going to go and get my Cajun craze in a minute there. See now I just add more of the brown that happened to be the soft suede. We're going to have a bit more shading here. So the big detail of this pretty much it's color a bit, come back and color more. And then you're going to have a beautiful fish. I think my fish was very pretty there. Um, don't look at it and say, oh my gosh, mine look horrible. Because watercolor, it's very forgiving. See, you can come back and do some shading. So then I would go back with all, I mix all those colors. Absolutely mix those colors. And here at the top, I really want this darker here. So I'm just taking some of the brown and coming in between here. See? You can always use your marker to also when you're done and add those dots a little bit darker. Now I really need to. Here we go. Keep the center open a bit. Voila! See how it is? Very... So you just play with it, add a bit of colors. That is it. If it go on the side, don't worry about it because we're going to cut that. See, I'm just going to wipe this here, wash this. Don't worry about that. This, uh, uh, oh, now I cannot think of the, the name. It's not the feather. <laughs> Why am I blank on name? You know what I'm talking about? Um, mm -mm -mm. Oh gosh, Dad, I hate that when it happened. Well, the finch. No, not the finch. Well, this. You uh, wanted to add some of the Wink of Stella. So after it would be dry, I would think my Wink of Stella. Oh, you see those dots here? Really need to be darker. Here we go. 
you're going to take your wink of stella you don't want to brush you just want to add a little speckle of the wink of stella the camera won't show much but trust me it adds a, a lot here we go a little bit here not much on the tail though here we go so now I'm going to bring that closer I bet you can see when it's dry it's going to make a difference and here is one that I finish and I'm going to show you how to put that in your um, wave or in the water let me close that first I'm going to show you the last step like I said we have to let that dry I'm going to bring this here and what I done so now you know it's all set good I took the same color and color back my um, for um, the hook there I used the same color that I used the first time and we're going to re-stamp usually a uh, watercolor you know we use um, stays on well for this one I felt it was way too much black for what I was looking for and I see it's still dipping of water a uh, pool of water there I'm just gonna do this now up and re-stamp and now we're gonna have the very lovely detail et voila see so it, you still have that watercolor look the feathers and so on so that's how I done this okay let's move this aside I use the ruffle embossing folder and this is the thick embossing folder so you just need one clear plate the platform not the adapter and emboss that with a clear plate at the top you get this now what I done I took my snip and be very careful and you can go in the back or in the front doesn't matter you can use do a little old you can use exacto knife too you just do a little bit of the snip see this I get some when I push the first time just take your snip and push that in voila one thing that I would say it's a um, sponge first so this one it's the balmy blue the other one that I use was um, the um, Bermuda no coastal cabana I got a scrap paper here what I'm gonna do is take my sponge and sponge a little bit bring this darker here here we go just add some dip in the water now take your fish slide it in you can always go back slide it in and one thing that I don't do when you're going to die cut uh, with the framelits it's uh, I thought I yeah you see when you die cut with the framelits it the finch I, is it the finch oh, I cannot think of the name so you this going to be a uh, cut out see this and this going to be lift up I don't like to have that in the bag the white so what I done you can use a piece of crumb cake uh, and any kind of uh, like a brownish tone and just take a little piece of it I like that the finch get up but I don't like that I see the water through it so I put that in the back I use two glue dots at each side there make sure you don't go in that just this one this one is perfectly fine because it's like the top one right put that there so now when this is full you don't see the water through it going to take um, glue dots another thing that I done um, you see the white here the framelit don't cut 
all the way in there and for me I wanted to have that a little bit closer this is not a moss I know some of you really don't like fussy cut I just wanted this closer less white now we're going to take our dimensional not too um, low at the tail because it have to go inside your uh, your hole here so now it really look like it's coming out of water voila so now when this is all dry I will um, die cut this my feather and I'm going to mount that. This one's going to be mounted on white. And I'm going to put my grating. Let me show you the finish card. One thing that i done on this one, see the ring? I wanted some ring that it looked like when the fish jump. And I just used, uh, punch out some circle. It was too much straight. So I think what I would do it's just take the marker and uh, do very light that's dark though maybe if I get a lighter marker oh let's try this here we're going to use our aqua painter with the same color ink that's going to be right here and we're going to do very little circle. Oops, I had some red on this. Let me remove this. Make sure this is clean. Uh, when a fish jump, you get that ring. So maybe what I'm going to do is just... And let it dry and see what it's going to do. I didn't like the way that this was too round. So... It's a thought. I think that I'm going to remove my fish and maybe just do like a bit of oval there. But this is how I done this. And you see the tail? I had it some of the Cajun craze, like I said. So I'm sure I will play with this fish a little bit more. It still looks very good. But let me show you when you add just a little bit of Cajun craze. The different uh, look you get. See, you just add a little bit, but again, you have to let it dry in between your layers. If not, you're just going to get a mush of colors, all the same color. This is it for my catch of the day, my friend. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time, happy stamping. Oh, one more thing. I use uh, my fine tip glue, and I had just a little bit on that to bring that those little dots. But... It's not a must, but it can add a little bit more detail. That is it for today, my friend. All the uh, measurement and the supplies that I use will be on my blog, direct link below or above. Thank you and have a lovely day. Bye-bye for now.